How am I ever going to find my remote in all this mess so I can watch YouTube to organize all this mess? I can't even find rem my remote ever. Jeez. Hey, there's my laptop. I wonder if I can use my laptop to control my Roku. Well, hello YouTube. Have you ever lost your Roku remote? I have, and I know that it, you can't control your Roku without that remote. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to control your Roku device with your home laptop. Okay, here's what you do. You go into your internet, internet browser, whatever you guys use. I still happen to use Google. You're going to wait for the search bar to come up. And then you're going to type in Roku Remote. Microsoft Store and it went ahead and auto filled it, so I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then you want to go to Get Roku Microsoft Store, click on that, and then and then the site will come up the Roku site. And then you'll have an option to install or open. Hit that box comes open. Open Microsoft Store. And then you want to open the Microsoft Store. And then the store will open up. What we want to do is do install it. And then it says downloading Roku. Up to the top, top left right there. There it goes. Almost there. Almost there. Now, what'll happen? I did this earlier, but I just wanted to, I deleted it so I could show you guys. And then now what's going to happen is a, a box pops up to launch it. Uh, this is for the privacy and terms and conditions and all that. So yada, yada, yada. Now, last time I did this, there was a box that popped up right here for pin to pin to the start button. Uh, what it's doing now is searching for devices. I've got two devices in my house, and the one in the living room is this one. So I'm gonna click on that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is um, after you get done installing it, and it gives you the little button to launch it. Uh, right next to the launch button is another button that's got three little dots on it. If you click on that, if you click on that, then it goes, you got install on my devices, pin to start menu, and pin to taskbar. I like to keep it on the taskbar just because it's small and convenient. Um, and then it just asks you if you want to pin it, pin it there, and then you say yes, and then it puts a little emblem down there for you to have quick access to your program. Uh, so now I'm going to click on that, and then it pops up. Channel button there to the left, and then what you'll do is, is just go, go in here. Okay, make sure it's on the channel, and also make sure that your Roku and your computer are on the same network. Um, if you only have one network, that's easy, but I've got two, so um, it would be kind of tough to find out what the Roku was on. But as long as uh, you, if you only have two networks, then you can switch and you can't find out which one your Roku, Roku's on because you lost your remote. Um, just switch your, switch your networks on your laptop, and if you've only got two, it should be easy. And I go into my main menu, and then I'm going to go over to YouTube. And then I'm going to look for my this video that I'm getting ready to download. Or upload, I mean. Um, guys, if you would, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I would like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate any comments. Leave them down, leave them down below. I greatly appreciate that. And... Thanks, guys, and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up.